Hey YouTube, Night 16 here, and first off, I want to thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel and for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Second, this is the Timu knife for Timu. I'm not sure how you say that, but the app that has completely blown up and everybody's buying stuff off of, well, I thought that I would buy a knife off of it and try it out and let you know what I think. So this is my review of my Timu knife. Okay, so I got on Timu. You can see the videos. I have a playlist of this knife. And I bought this knife for a little over $4. And let me give you my impressions on it. So first off, let's talk about the sheath. The sheath keeps you from cutting yourself. It does have a belt loop. And you can see here that it is definitely made out of fake vinyl leather. Um, it feels like fake vinyl leather. The uh, sheath is not extremely cut out well. You can see there's a gap there. Stitching, it's okay. It's not great. Um, it has a snap that holds the knife in. So, I mean, overall, for a $4 knife, the sheath is better than I've seen on some and worse than I've seen on others. So, the sheath is, it's okay. It's all right. Now, let's talk about the knife. This is the knife, and as expected, it was small. I figured it would be smaller than it looked in the picture, but I didn't think it would be quite this small. And you can see this is a small sheath knife. It does have some Chinese writing on the blade. I have no idea what that says. Maybe made in China. I have no idea. Um, they put this weird brass, I don't know if you'd call that a guard. I don't know what you'd call that. But you can see that there's definitely gaps. And it's actually sharp. Right here is actually sharp. Where it's, see, you can see where they cut it off. It's actually sharp. It is a full tang knife. And it looks like it has either steel but probably aluminum pins. And you can see that there's gaps between the pins. I don't know what kind of wood this is. But, uh, you know, it's okay. I don't know what kind of steel this knife is made out of, but I'm going to guess probably some kind of stainless steel. Now, it did come with a pretty good edge on it. It still has a fairly decent edge. I haven't used it a lot. I mean, there's gaps in the uh, tang there between the handle and the tang. I mean, it's, it's a rough knife. Do I recommend this knife? No. No, I really don't. Um, for $4, you could probably do better than this. I would recommend looking at some Ozark Trail knives at Walmart. If you want a Chinese-made knife that's cheap, that's in better quality. So, overall, I don't recommend buying a knife from Timu. Is this an absolutely terrible knife? It depends on what you're comparing it to. I've definitely seen worse knives than this. I own worse knives than this. I mean, it has a functional edge. It will cut things. But I still don't really recommend it. It's just, it's a weird mod podge. So, anyway, I hope that was educational and maybe entertaining, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we will see you in the next one. This has been Night 16, Night Out. I'm going to tell you what I think about this knife.